Welcome to our fifth to sixth grade transition meeting. I did not imagine that we would be doing this presentation virtually, but here we are. My name is Lisa Buckshaw and I am the middle school principal. I'm also a district resident and a parent of a fourth grade student at Paul Road who will eventually be coming to the middle school. I am invested in making our district and school a great place for children and families. Making the transition from elementary to middle school is big, and we want to make it as smooth as possible for our families and students. This presentation will provide some insight into the many opportunities that will be available to your child, as well as a timeline of events to assist in the transition. First and foremost, no matter whether you're coming from Florence Brasser, Neil Armstrong, Walt Disney, or Paul Road Elementary School, we all share the same Spartan Way values and that will not change. They are respect, responsibility, compassion, and hard work. If you're entering our district for the first time, you will find these values integrated into all of your child's experiences. Our fifth graders will be leaving their familiar elementary schools and coming to the middle school. It's a new building for them filled with wonderful opportunities. Of course, it can seem overwhelming at first, but we do many things to help it feel warm and inviting. One of the things that we have done is we've created three smaller learning communities within the building that contain 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students and teachers. These students and teachers form great relations with each other over the three years that they're in the building. It's a really wonderful feeling when a student can walk down the hall of a big school and every student and staff member knows that child by name. Each of these communities provide equal academic programs and students are divided into them to help create a diverse population of students. Just because an older sibling has been in a community doesn't mean that your new sixth grader will be in the same community. We give the placement of children into these communities and classes very careful attention. It's a new school for your child, which brings a new schedule and new opportunities. The middle school schedule follows an eight day rotation with six periods a day. I know it seems like a lot to remember, but trust me, the students are better at memorizing it than we are as adults. They quickly learn that if they color code their schedule by course, it will help them stay organized. We also see many students tape their schedule inside the school provided agenda so that they can easily reference it when needed. Some students even tape another copy of their schedule inside their locker so when they open it, they can easily reference it to determine what materials are needed for their next class. Organization is key to success in middle school and we will work with your children to help this be something that they become very skilled at. A sixth grade student will be taking five core classes that meet six out of eight days. These consist of ELA, reading, science, social studies, and math. Within their sixth grade year, they will also take exploratory classes that meet three out of eight days. Physical education is one of those classes that will meet three out of eight days for the whole year. Art, music, family and consumer science, and health class will meet three out of eight days for half of a year. You may be excited to know that band and chorus are exploratory classes that take part during the school day, not after or before, like they may have done in elementary school. There will also be opportunities in a child's schedule to have a study hall and or to have opportunities for academic intervention classes in math and literacy. 
We are very excited that our capital project renovations are scheduled to be completed for our opening in September. This means that your child will be among the first to experience them. If you have had children come through the middle school before, you will notice that it is going to look completely different. The entire middle section of the school has been renovated and it will be noticeable as soon as you enter the building. There will be a beautiful wide entrance that goes to the heart of the school. In this new hallway, we created two new family and consumer science rooms, a new counseling suite, a new security office, a student-run bookstore, an art classroom, a new nurse's office, and some special education and general education classrooms. We also had three classrooms turned into two big science rooms with a prep room in between. Additionally, we have had new student and staff bathrooms and renovations to our gymnasium. This includes a new gym floor, new bleachers, renovated locker rooms and a fitness room, and a location for a future rock climbing wall. This is all very exciting to us. The blue and light orange coloring on this map demonstrates the scope of the project. As you can see, the middle school had some significant renovations. To get a close view of what the project looks like now, we attached a link at the end of this video for you to view. In future capital projects, it's our hope that we bring our music and technology departments up to date by creating state-of-the-art facilities. Hi, I'm Melissa Condadorio. I am the school counselor for the Rhinos community. One of the more exciting things about coming into sixth grade is having your very own locker. Student lockers are typically located in their community hallway close to their core classrooms. Each locker has a built-in combination lock, so there is no need to bring a lock from home. More information will be coming home in the summer regarding using your locker and when you can come in to practice unlocking it. Since we know that this can be a big worry for a lot of our students, we want to assure you that students will also be given lots of time during the first week of school to practice unlocking. Elementary students are used to having their own laptops in school. The difference in sixth grade is that your laptops can go home with you if you choose to purchase the protection plan. This is a big responsibility for students, but we know that they can handle it. We also have wonderful technology staff who are always there to help students with any laptop issues that arise. More specific information will be shared this summer about laptop distribution. Hi, this is Alicia Nelson, sixth grade counselor for the Red Wing and Amherst communities. The middle school relies on a variety of ways to stay in contact with parents. Consider signing up for Spartan Happenings and be on the lookout for information being shared on many of these different platforms. We are fortunate to have a variety of mental health staff to serve our GCMS students. It can be confusing understanding what roles each mental health staff serve because in many ways our roles overlap. This diagram shows a summarized description of the roles and responsibilities of our mental health team in their respective positions. As a school counselor, we oversee 100% of our student caseload and collaborate with other mental health staff as needed. Social emotional learning is a key component in education. We help students learn conflict resolution, communication skills, how to deal with adversity, and much more. The school counselors push in and facilitate a number of lessons and circles throughout the school year in all grade levels. In sixth grade, we focus on acclimating them to the middle school and start to focus on goal setting and future planning. As you can see, there are several lessons planned throughout the school year, hitting different topics. We also do circles, groups, and one-on-one -on -one meetings on an as-needed basis. If you have any questions about social emotional learning, please don't hesitate to email myself or Melissa Conadorio. Hi, this is Mr. Tavalaris, one of the assistant principals at the middle school. The Upstander Initiative has been a focus of the middle school for a number of years. It is our version of a character education program that reinforces the Spartan way and encourages everyone to be their best self. Students are encouraged to display positive behaviors and support each other in challenging situations. They're asked to stand up against bullying behaviors by making good choices. Once a month, students and staff participate in activities that reinforce Upstander behavior.
To wrap up our presentation, I'd like to highlight key parts of our plan to help sixth grade students and families transition to the middle school. This is a year-long process beginning in the spring. Ms. Nelson and Mrs. Condorio will be joining fifth grade class Zoom meetings to introduce themselves and talk to students directly about the middle school. We will also be providing an opportunity for fifth grade students to take a virtual tour of the middle school. The exciting steps come up near the end of August. By the end of August, students will receive their community placement, schedules, and locker assignment. The week before school starts, students will be able to visit the school to practice using their lockers, tour the school, and walk their schedule. That same week, students will have the opportunity to pick up their laptops. As the school year starts, we will host our sixth grade Meet the Staff Night for parents. And as mentioned, the transition to the middle school is a year-long process, and our counselors will be providing lessons focused on a variety of topics relevant to sixth graders throughout the year. Please use the link provided to ask any questions you still have, and we will work to get that information to you. Be on the lookout for communication throughout the summer regarding immunizations, availability of schedules, and dates for locker setup and laptop pickup. We are excited to welcome our new 6th grade students to the middle school and look forward to a smooth transition. Thank you.